Well, Brownlow medal winner. Spears at the half forward. Charlie Dixon, welcome back. Himmelberg has the early match up there. Just shoveled forward by Drew. Clever knock on Burn Jones. Rioli, was he clipped high? I think that'll be a free kick. Maybe just a bit of overzealous there at the Giants. 28 17 for the year. Willie Rioli, this is what he's in the side to third. He made no mistake. Rioli kicks the first. That isn't anything permanent. The starting sub, Jeremy Finlayson, will be warming up. Lloyd, beautiful little step. Got around Jones. And then the kick's good. Going back with the fight, Toby Green. Beautiful way to kick. Impactful Toby Green was and always is. Beautiful shot. Look at that. Toby Green, no mistake. Kelly to Arden to Himmelberg. Rioli's pressure. Court Harry. They can go forward quickly again. Rioli to Horn Francis. Go back and own the moment. First final last week for Horn Francis. No score next to his name last week. A major and Port lead by seven. Perryman gets it away before Dersma gets to him. Long ball, brilliant to Riccardi. Gets the best of Alir and then swings it to a dangerous spot. Bergman's got a couple to beat. Bedford gives it to Green. Got taken high. Bedford clean again. Got tackled. Back to Green. Green kicks the goal. He's got a couple, and we're back to square. Ward again. Here comes the orange tsunami. Briggs smashes it forward again. Little chance for Green to be influential. Out the back, it bounces. Riccardi sees Green. Also, Daniels. Can he be clean and finish? How quick was that response? 3 1 apiece. Breakneck speed, as you would expect in this final. Drew, they're really having a go through the corner. That is a beautiful kick. Couldn't kick it any better to Bergman. And now Marshall back with the flight. He's taking the mark. What a transition that was. The kick from half back. And Port with it. Wrestle the lead back. Ward somehow emerged with the football extract that gave it off to Kelly. Again, a big opportunity for Hogan. Big fly, great set of hands. And now... I said did... Well to move Briggs initially picked up by Houston. Marshall's charging at it. Good defensive effort from Buckley. Front and center. Willem Drew. Good looking snap. Brilliant goal. GWS. Fourth lead change. Nine goals. Biggest lead so far. Seven points. Canelio thumps it long again. Here's Hogan. Oh, he's looking confident now, Hogan. Ian Brown couldn't get there. Toby Green might be able to. Will the ball settle for him? Not quite. Riccardi floats the handball back. Onto his left. Kelly pulls the trigger. There we go. Back-to-back -back goals for the first time tonight. Biggest lead of the game. Giants by nine. He's what has protected an undermanned back six. Hi, on me. Working overtime back there. It spills out. Canelio. Another goal coming up. Three in a row. The Giants. Ward, have a look at the old dog. Now a big giant just working his way through. Cornelio runs to 50, breaks the line, handballs over the top, little give. Daniels now a chance to finish off from Hogan. They're unstoppable. He's got three. And Port's got a problem. Giants have taken that away from Port. How do you stop that? Give you some thinking time as Dixon knocks towards halfback. Pal Pepper tries to Hurdle and escape, can't. Why is that coming? Steps up to the plate, drafted out of the Giants Academy in 2016. Gives it a good ride. Five unanswered goals for the Giants. I think it's home. Shows it out to Travis Boat. Powell's all time greats. Lord had four goals in his first final last week. They need. Some return here out of him as Boat gets it back. Can they get the first goal? Pal Pepper, Ida defended well. Rioli started this game on fire, kicked the first goal, and he's got the first in the second half as well. Three goals for Willie. Formidable key defensive unit. Really great combination as Buckley's kick looking for Riccardi from the side of Mark from Houston. 
Houston now looking decidedly undecided. Now bullets the ball towards Dixon over the top. Law. He's had a quiet night. His first kick coming up after a terrific grab. Leaving it behind. And now a chance the other way from Willem Drew. Willem Drew over the top to Rioli. Through the circles, he rolls. Over the top to Marshall. He goes back with the flight. Buckley can't stop it. And Marshall can make it a three-goal game. Hands it off to Finn Callahan. Flicks it back through the corridor. Perryman's going to pick it up to Ward. Sidestep was good. Got past Rosie. And this will be a bit of a body blow if... The goal can be kicked, Steve Canelio, in the final. Steve Canelio, the former captain, steps up and delivers his second goal. Huge effort. Understanding the scenario, gets it moving quickly. Charlie clunked it. So he fancy himself if he can get forward and make Briggs defend that. Just 11 games for the year, including the last five. Charlie Dixon, can he give some hope to the power fans? He sure can. Back to Finn Callan. Beautifully done to Lloyd. Have got Brown. Have got a runner on the outside. Huge chance for the Giants to make it really tough from here. And Isaac Cummings drifted down to forward 50. Hogan's demanding it in the goal square. He's waving his arms around saying, kick it long to me, but... They were able to slice their way through and it's that sort of player, Jake McCarty. He doesn't need a lot of possession to hurt you on the scoreboard. Look at that kick. A body blow from Jake McCarty. And high on, high on. Just telegraphing he was gonna head to the corridor instead, dumps the kick for to centre Toby Gray. <laughs> Cometh the moment, cometh the man. Five times in a final, he's kicked three goals. The Giants fans are celebrating at the Adelaide Oval scoreboard end of the ground. Toby for goal number three. He's got it, and he might have just put his team into another prelim final. Season over for Port Adelaide, and the GWS Giants win their way into a fourth prelim final in their history a friday night date with collingwood awaits the giants by 23 points well, there's a big big sound from the west of the town it's the sound of the mighty giants feel the ground is shaking the other teams are quaking exciting expectations do you what do you do with the players of script embrace everything absolutely i mean yeah we'll have a short break i think i think probably a friday night game next week so will recover really well and, um, yeah, get to work on the pies. No worries. Congrats on the victory. Get to your team. And just a thought for Tom Jonas being chaired off by Ollie Wines and Trav Boak. He's been a wonderful servant of the Port Adelaide Football Club for a long time.